Hello and welcome back to Lesson 7 of Basic CNC Programming. In this video we're going to be talking about tool offsets and work offsets. When we start writing a program we need to determine where to put the origin on a part. And usually it depends on the shape of the part and the way we are holding it in our work fixture. So in this example we have placed the origin at the upper left hand corner of the part and so all of our coordinates are in relation to that x and y zero. So let's talk about how we communicate that to the machine and how the machine knows where this origin is located. So first of all let's take a look at our tool path here. We're taking a rough pass and a finish pass and we're just going to post out that code and then let's talk about how we write in the tool offsets and the work offsets into the program. Alright so here we're looking at the code that we just posted out for that tool path. You can see the rough pass and the finish pass all the G1's, G2's and G3's of that tool path as that tool walks around our part. But now let's take a look at the top of our program and you can see on this line right here we have the X and Y start value and we tell the machine to do that in relation to a work coordinate in this case a G54. Now every CNC mill has at least six work offsets anywhere from G54 to G59. So this work offset is a location that is stored in the machine memory which is a certain distance away from X home position and Y home position. So when the machine first starts up we, we have to home it out. It goes to the X, Y and Z home position now the distance from that position to the location on the part that we call the origin of the part is the distance stored in that work offset. So let's take a look at what that work offset looks like in the control. Alright so here we're looking at a typical work offset screen. Uh, you can see we got the G54 through G59 on this page. Notice right here is the machine position and if these uh, X and Y values are zero that means that the machine is at the home position for those axes. So like I said the distance from that home position to the corner of the part that we call the origin for the part is going to be the distance that we store in X and Y value of that work coordinate. Okay, So that tells the machine where that origin of the part is located in relation to machine zero. Alright so here you can see G54 through G59. Normally if you only have one part you would only assign one work coordinate. But you may have multiple setups on the same table so you will be assigning different offsets to each part. Now notice here there's a common section right here. Any value that you put in these X, Y and Z or Z fields will affect all of these work offsets. So if you put in one inch in this X value then it's gonna it, it won't show up as from 11 to 12 but it will actually add one inch to whatever x value is in these offsets. Same with y, z, and in this case this particular machine has a b. So be careful that there's no value in here because it will affect the location of your work coordinate. Alright so let's take a look at a different machine screen and uh, let's let's look at some of the differences. Alright here we're looking at another very common work offset page. As you can see we still have the G54 through G59 with the X, Y and Z distances away from the home position to the part origin. Now you can see uh, a lot of additional work offsets that this machine has available. Comes in very handy when you have a lot of setups 
on your table or a lot of small parts that you got in your setup so that comes in very handy so instead of coding G54 you would just code G154P1 and it would work exactly the same way it brings in these values right here and the machine knows exactly where that part is located so let's talk about tool offsets next all right so back to our program you can see that we are using tool number one to do the machining on our part now tool one is a half inch end mill now as we're setting up different tools like end mills and drills and reamers and face mills all these tools are going to be set up at different lengths now it's very critical that we that we know what these lengths are and that we store those values into a tool page so in our code we need to tell the machine to get that tool length for that particular tool and the way we do that is on this line right here the g43 says go to that tool page and then look up position one or line one for tool one so if this was tool 10 we would tell it to go to h10 or line 10 on that tool page so let's take a look and see what that tool page looks like and how the numbers are stored there all right so this is a very common tool offset page layout uh, as you can see right here we got the tool length offset with the age right here and it's the geometry column that we're interested in that's where all the different tool lengths are stored at and in this example um, for tool number one through twelve so that is the H value that will be brought in when we call that up from our program so again G43 tells it to look at this page and then the H value will tell it which line to look at and bring in that tool length so the where offset page or the where offset column right here is the minor adjustment that you could make if you if you needed to mill a little bit deep, deeper or shallower so but we're mainly concerned with the geometry page but it will bring in this wear offset also so be aware that when you first start your program that all these values in this wear offset column is zero then run your first part take a measurement and if you need to make minor adjustments then those adjustments are made right here so that covers work offsets and tool offsets i thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video